Hello everybody, uh, TB Ad Guy here again, Chad Klosterman. Uh, for those of you who are just now checking out the site, uh, if you are, great. Hope I can give you some thoughtful words of encouragement and motivation, because that's what I like to do. Uh, you can check me out, obviously, here on TB Ad Guy Speaks on YouTube, tbiguyspeaks.webs.com online, and TB Ad Guy Speaks on Facebook. And I think that's all of them. That being said, as we have been going through the last few weeks or a couple months, I've been working on virtues. And the virtues that I pulled from are the 10 virtues from West Point Military Academy. And I am actually adding to that and changing it up a little bit with that. And this week's virtue discipline. is discipline which is the practice of training people to operate or the, the yeah try this again see i i i'm not looking through the bifocals part of my glasses discipline the practice of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior using punishment to correct disobedience yes that is a virtue or a, well, it, it just doesn't really work, I guess you might say. And so we were thinking about it and figured a better virtue would be self-discipline, which according to Webster's dictionary means the correction or regulation of oneself for the sake of improvement. Man, my glass keeps sliding down. Anyways, Before synonym. you go on. What? Before you go on. Before I go on. It's not that discipline doesn't work. It's that it's it's hard to focus on discipline if we aren't self-disciplined. The Yeah, that in discipline in and of itself just sounds negative. But if we are working self-discipline, which is a much better word to use because you're you're hearing things from your doctors or your therapists telling you to do stuff. Well, they can't discipline you for not doing them. You have to be self-disciplined to do them on your own because obviously you're not with them all the time. And you need to do that to get better. And the more we do on our own, the faster we get better. Mm -hmm. And get back into our daily routine or our new daily routine. Anyways, back to the um, English aspect of this and we're going into Synonyms. See, this is a whole total lesson today. You're learning all kinds of fun stuff besides my normal just rambling on. Synonyms would be restraint, self-control, will, and willpower. And obviously, you need all of those to help push yourself to become better, to overcome the obstacles that we have every day, because we do. Some people may not see it because we are very good at covering them up or making them unnoticeable. After 19 years, I've gotten fairly decent at that. But then there's still those times, obviously, like we all are gonna have where we need to ask for help. But anyways, back to self-discipline. How to develop better habits for improving our self-discipline. Take on one challenge at a time. You know what they say, Rome wasn't built in one day. You know, a lot of times that includes making a list, setting goals on that list, giving yourself, you know, ample time to do things. Don't try and bum rush everything all at once because if you get yourself involved in too many things you're trying to do, you become more likely, frustrated, yeah. but if you're not focusing all of your attention on one, trying to focus on several isn't going to help you out any. Trust me. Been there, done that. Still have a problem with that from time to time. Show initiative from day one. You, you don't start off if you want to, this is just a crazy example. Say you want to bench press a certain amount of weight at 10 reps and you're not really big into weightlifting to begin with. 
you don't start off trying to bench press the amount of weight that you want to bench press in the end. You start off small. Say so you want to learn, you want to be able to bench 225, you start out at 125, or whatever is comfortable for you to do and not kill yourself. But you show initiative. But you yeah. show initiative. And it goes the same with starting a project, for example. You don't expect to do, to build a patio in one day. That brings up a, funny, a really funny story because I, I, I almost did that when I was told I couldn't do that. I was actually up until 4 o'clock in the morning working on this patio that I built with 45 pound um, paver blocks. I started on a Saturday afternoon. I finished about 4.30 or 5 in the morning. I came in to go to the bathroom and my producer, my lovely wife, asks, what are you doing, getting up early to go out and start on your patio again? I said, no, I'm just getting done for the night. I laid, I think, 80 patio blocks, paper blocks. Wasn't the brightest thing to do. My arm was killing me the next day, just to say the least. But start out slow. Yeah. We, we don't need to try and, you know, do everything all at once. Because if we overdo it, we hurt ourselves. We break more parts than what is worthwhile of saying, I did the project in one day. No, that's not really all that worth it. Ah, but you always got to show initiative from the start. Because if you're not showing initiative from and, and energy from the start, you're not going to get very far. You're not going to get much done. And it's going to end up getting thrown to the west side because if you're not that initiative, if you don't have that initiative and you're not that motivated to begin with, it's hard to finish it. That's why you hate the phrase, I can't. I hate the phrase, I can't. I said that once or twice on here, I'm sure. Yeah. Set goals. And, you know, okay, 30, 60, 90 days, whatever it may be. Yeah, obviously, I'm not going to set a 30-day goal on my patio. <laughs> However, when it came to walking again, my dad set me a 45-day goal that I finished in 30. You know, we don't want to overdo it to the point that we are more destructive on ourselves than constructive on ourselves. We don't want to, there's no need to try and do too much at once. And I know I'm a hypocrite in saying that. I know that. But I am getting better. And I'm trying to pass this information and relay it on to you guys for the same reasons. Because... It doesn't do anybody any good. And what's the benefit of setting short-term goals? Getting them done. Accomplishments. Because accomplishments mean everything when you're going through any kind of situation. And, you know, and once again, we're not just talking about people with, you know, one arm or, say, one leg or has a cast or... We're talking about everyday things, everyday goals in our lives. Like if you want to lose weight or if you want to eat healthier, if you want to quit smoking, anything. Exactly. I mean, remember I said in the beginning, this is not just about people with... Quote unquote disabilities. Yeah, we'll go with that. Quote unquote disabilities. This can work for so many other things. Okay. Where we go from here. Make every day count and keep yourself accountable. You set your goals, meet your goals. If you don't meet the goal, extend the goal. But figure but out do why. do not quit, mm -hmm. do not stop. Do not let frustration stop you because you know what, that's Satan tearing you down, trying to put the brakes on you, trying to keep you miserable because that's what he does. We gotta think positive. If it's small goals that we're accomplishing and it's not as big a goal as what you wanted, that's okay because you still accomplished something. Mm -hmm. You have something to feel proud about. And that's just one stepping stone to make everything for the next stepping stone more possible. Yeah. Because you can't hit C without first hitting A and B. You know, if it takes steps, use them but always 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 keep focused to get through what you initially are attempting to get through 
with something not on that list, since you brought up Satan stopping you from it, make sure you pray about it and ask for God's help. Always. Replace bad habits with good ones. Emily, this one's on you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like when I was when I was initially trying to lose weight, a bad habit was stress eating and boredom eating. So I replaced the bad habit of stress eating and boredom eating with, okay, I'm stressed out. Uh, I need to do something productive. House needs cleaned. I'm going to go sort this room. I'm going to sort the closet. I'm going to run the vacuum. Or board meeting, I'm going to read a book. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to say exercise. So doing something that needs to be done anyway, creating which helps build a, a good habit, can break a bad habit at the same time. Oh, okay. I'm just looking. You want more? Well, I, I was just looking to see what was next on the list. Like... You can go if you want. If not, I can mm -hmm. go into the, the final thought of the day. If a bad habit is, I don't know, gossiping or putting or being judgmental or putting people down. Uh, On start... that note, do not do that. Yeah. Because regardless of how you are talked about, say, for only having one arm or only having one eye, you know it doesn't feel good. So why in the world would you want to do it to somebody else? And for anybody out there, you don't have to have a disability to feel that, to understand that, because it happens every day. People are talking about people. And there are invisible disabilities you can't see. Because everybody has them. Everybody. And um, so if you find yourself in that bad habit, a really good habit, is to find something that you genuinely appreciate in somebody and mention that to them or about them to somebody else. So you're replacing a bad habit with a good. I'm not doing out of fakeness or phoniness. Just for, instead of doing the bad, do the good. Or just stand up, turn around, and walk away. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, don't wait until tomorrow which you can start today. That's just putting off the inevitable. There's no reason for us to do that. I mean, if we want to get better about our situations, why not start now? What's the point of waiting till tomorrow? Because you put it off one day, before you know it, you put it off a week, a month, and then maybe you'll find the piece of paper that you wrote down, what your goal and what your accomplishments that you wanted were, and you realize, wow, I, I, made this list for a, a month ago and I haven't even started it yet. Don't wait. Just start doing what you need to do for yourself today. And that said, now. it's never too late. Even if you do fall off the wagon or drop the ball, get back on or pick it back up and start where you're at. The main point of it is don't just sit back and let life go by. Because it's not worth it to anybody, especially to yourself and what you're doing to yourself by not doing what you can to better yourself. Because we all need to make ourselves better. We all have to push ourselves to become better. So, on that note, TBI Guy Speaks, .com, TBI Guy Speaks on YouTube. Uh, share it, like it, get me a couple subscribers. That would be excellent. And you all have a great week. We may not be here next week. No, I'm probably not going to do it next week because we'll be on vacation. But then again, you never know. I might just have a crazy thought in mind when we're in Tennessee that might motivate me to do another one while we're there. Until then, next time, have a great day. And remember, you can do it.